Okay, hey guys, Kip here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a preview of the of Lion, which is 10.7, the next um the next big operating system from Apple for the Macs, and it's actually developer beta. So I'm going to be taking a look at it and showing you guys everything that is new. So, without further ado, let's get to it. First of all, um, basically what Lion is is it's Apple combining iOS with um, with Snow Leopard or Mac OS X. So as you can see here, there's a lot of assets that are in Lion that you will see in Snow Leopard, such as if you go to Safari, when you're scrolling, you see the scroll bar right here is actually so it disappeared right there. If you look at the scroll bar, it's just like that. So a little scroll bar, and also it's reverse scrolling. So you flick up on the magic mouse, it'll go down. So it's sort of um, more physics than the last, um, more physics than Snow Leopard in this. Um, also some stuff that is from, um, also some stuff from iOS is going to be the instant resume type thing, where when you have an app and you quit it and then you relaunch it up, it'll actually go right back where you were. So as you can see, I'm going to quit this, I'm going to go um, quit Safari. And then let's go back into Safari. And, okay, wait, it, it probably doesn't do with Safari, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, so let's go into, like, maybe this. No, oh, God. Um, so yeah, you gotta you got do it with something that actually works with this. Um, actually, here, so preview, when I open this up, and we have a document open in it. I believe this will do it. Um, if you go into quit and then launch it back up, there you go. So now it'll it'll just go right back where you are. Now another thing that um, that is present in iOS is full screen applications. In fact, you can only have full screen applications. So as you can see here, we have a little full screen button. Now this is going to be present in any app that supports full screen. So you press this and it goes into full screen right there, as you can see. So this is sort of like Pages full screen, if you've ever used Pages. It's a full screen view, and then you have over here, you have the page, pages that you have, and then up here, you have your toolbar. So, now we can go out of this, actually. And I'll show you how right now. So, um, um, Lion actually is supposed to be gestures, too. So, iOS is obviously only gestures. So there's no keys to do keyboard shortcuts or buttons to do expose. So now they've sort of combined expose and uh, and spaces and dashboard and a bunch of other things to create this thing, giant thing called mission control. So basically, what mission control is, and I'm gonna to do it right now, is you just double tap on with two fingers on the magic mouse, and you launch up mission control. So basically, what it is, and as you can see, dashboard. You have spaces right there, so my main desktop, if I had more spaces, you would see multiple desktops there. You also have um, full screen applications. So now let's go, let's go out of it right now. Um, another cool gesture is the two finger swipe. So now this is on the magic mouse, you have a two finger swipe. It's different gestures for the trackpad, but it's sort of similar. So you do two finger swipe and you can swipe in between those. So as you can see in um, here, we're swiping in between those three options right there. So left, right, right. Obviously, I'm scrolling the same way that I would be, you know, scrolling. Um, scrolling the same way that I would usually be scrolling. Um, now another thing is going to be Launchpad. So if you go into Launchpad, this is sort of like the springboard or the home screen in iOS. So you can see we have all of our applications here. It automatically adds the applications that we have on our Mac to this. So if I wanted to go ahead and launch up the App Store, let's say. There we go. We launch up the App Store. I have one new update. Um, same sort of scrolling type thing with this. Um, let's actually, I'm going to sort of, I'm going to go back into Mission Control for one second because I want to show you guys something. Um, so let's go into Safari. Let's do like address book iCal, some, there's some different applications too that I'd like to show you guys, but um, that come bundled with come bundled with Lion. So let's go 
let's go into Mission Control, and here you can see we got the whole expose thing. So you just press the space bar to look at it in the same size that it normally is. And you got a nice, nice, nice look at all the windows that you have open. And this, I actually see myself using this a lot. I actually use expose every day. I just always use it. I barely actually, I barely have more than one app open on the screen, but now I see myself having more than one app open using this. Um, basically, if you, um, yeah, so basically just using that, you can see, um, see all the applications that you have open and manage all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, back to Launchpad, actually. Don't want to get, get um, distracted here. You can also have folders. So as you can see, we're going to go into our Utilities folder. And we have all our utilities. So that's um, that's pretty standard. Right there. So we just press Launchpad to go back out of that. Um, some other stuff, some little stuff. Um, user interface changes, as you can see. Sort of a different user interface. You might see a difference in this right here. Littler but or smaller buttons right here. Um, also, you can see we got a switcher. That's a standard switcher in um, in Lion. Also, we got this thing. This is going to be used in pretty much anything. Also, year a year view. <laughs> That's sort of sort of a cool idea, I guess. You can just take a look at the year. I don't see how you can actually look at events this way. It's just more for jumping around. Um, an icon. Also, buttons in the internet. So if we go to like go to a site, I actually had um. I was installing Google Chrome right here, and I believe, I know that's not it, I'm um, sorry, I'm used to using two finger swipe. Um, let's see, let's go here and then download Google Chrome right there, you can see some new buttons right there, I was just looking through that. Um, also some stuff, um, people from Windows and people who were coming over from Windows were complaining about um, when you grab a window and you resize it, it's really hard to resize. Um, because in Windows you can do it from any corner. Now, same thing in Lion. So, you go um, into a corner right here, and you see we get those little bars. So that's actually, that's really handy. I didn't even know what I was missing, because it's, it's just handier than it seems. Um, also, I'd like to show you guys Going back to Mission Control, this is actually, Mission Control is actually one of the biggest features in this. I find myself just looking at this as one of the things, as you can see here, um, new user interface thing, um, but anyway, I just find myself seeing user, um, seeing Mission Control is one of the things I use most, because it just sounds really handy. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and open up a bunch of stuff right here. You can see Finder, um, I'll go into that a little bit later. And now let's go into Mission Control. Now as you can see, you can actually, this is, this is just, I'm just showing you guys the spaces sort of feel with this. I don't, they don't even have a separate spaces application anymore. And this, this is actually a really cool way to um, rearrange your windows and stuff. It's just sort of a desktop management software or um, program that Apple is bundling in with it. As you can see, just swiping in between there. Um, I yeah. So you can actually, you don't actually have to have the two finger swipe. I just figured out the control and then whatever arrow key you want to hit will actually do the same thing. You see, you can switch between all your open spaces like that. So I guess they're expanding on spaces with this whole mission control thing. Um, let's go back in system preferences. I'm gonna turn this off because I don't actually like having that many spaces right there open. So also another thing I'm gonna go probably the last thing I'm gonna talk about right here actually there is there's a few more things um is the new finder so we got all my files right here this is a new bar on the side and all my files basically what that is is it, and it's not really working right now it worked right when I turned my computer on and then it stopped working so we'll have to see about that but all my files basically what that does is when I used it it basically showed me like a text document that I just opened up and maybe a full a file for an application that I um, brought on right there. Um, so basically it'll tell, show you all your documents and any any file that you created on your machine. So you can obviously um, you can obviously turn that off or whatever. 
if you want, I guess. Um, airdrop is sort of like the bonjour thing. Um, actually, this is sort of weird right now. I mean, I'm mean, gonna quit some of the applications other than other than Finder. Actually, you can't quit Finder, so we're good. Um, wouldn't want to quit ScreenFlow either. Um, so as you can see right there, it's a cool. It's a cool concept. I don't have it installed on two computers, so I can't actually test it out right now. But basically, what it is is you just basically drag a file. So let's pretend like we're dragging this, and you'll see another computer's name, another computer's name somewhere over there. You just drag it onto there, and it'll literally just show up right in, um, probably like right in here or somewhere. So that's pretty cool. Um, the applications thing. So just just a new Finder, as you can see. Um, not much this new in Finder. I mean, they have. I mean, it's just more of a UI change in this. Um, so let's move on to one of our last things, just the new applications that bundle with Lion. So mail, as you can see, and now it doesn't really matter that you are looking at my messages right here, but mail is a cool new view, and yeah, it's just like, um, it's just like MobileMe, um, if you know what MobileMe is, it's Apple's service that they use for email and stuff, if you pay for that, and now basically MobileMe change their layout to um to be a widescreen sort of view. And this is actually really cool, really cool mail like thing. Also you can have it in full screen, so that's really cool. I really see it. And also the cool thing about full screen applications also is I mean my mom has a MacBook Air, a MacBook Air um eleven inch MacBook Air and this would be really cool for her. If she could have, you know, just just these um like because Windows really don't work on a small screen like that, and full screen applications would just do magic for that sort of stuff. Because then you can just swipe in between it, swipe all over the place, and then it's basically like an iPad. It's making it more, you know, making it simple. Um, another thing is address book. Now this looks exactly like it does on the iPad, so really not much to do. Um, there's my card. Don't really have anything in there right now. Apple Incorporated. So yeah, um, pretty much exactly, exactly, exactly identical to what you have there. Um, as you can see, you can share easily. Don't save. Um, also, a weird bug right here. Just this top bar going away. Um, now let's quit out of that. Um, okay, quit out of that. Also, we can go to iCal. I showed you guys this a little bit. So you have that whole interface. So you have the day interface. I think this is new, just like the iPad. Really bring the iPad to the computers. What they're doing with this, and then you have a whole whole look at the events. I don't have any um, events in my iCal, so or I don't have any cool events in there. Um, also, preview. You already saw that in full screen. That's pretty much what it is. Um, I actually haven't tried this out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be showing this in the video. I guess I will. Um, so we have. We have versions, basically, so, and versions basically is time machine for your documents. So if you're working on an important pages document, and you don't want to lose what you have, you're going to want to see the version. So every hour you want it to, um, you want your document, it's going gonna, it's gonna to save it every single hour. Like, keep a copy from every hour, just of, um, of your document so you can look at it. So let's unlock this document. And let's let's go ahead and make a change to it. So let's um annotate this and put some let's put like highlight some text right here. So there we go. We highlighted some text. Now you see it says edited. So we can browse all versions right here. And as you can see here, it'll show you it'll show you all of your all of your stuff. So your last one right over here, and then your current one. So I don't believe that um, that they actually it actually saved it since there. Another thing too is and I'm gonna just restore this one, and as you can see, a cool animation there, a little bit laggy just because this is beta. Another cool thing is if you're working in Pages, and I actually don't have that installed right now, so I can't show you. But if you're working in something like that, you don't have to save anymore. Saving is so old. People don't use it anymore. People, I mean, it's just such a pain to like have to remember to save your documents and it sucks so badly when um when you lose all your work
because you didn't save it. So basically, yeah. So basically, it'll just auto save, just like on the iPad and Pages when you um, when you're working on a document. You can just press the home button. It can quit it if it wants. If the system's out of memory and it wants to quit Pages, it can quit it. But right when you go back in, there's no saving needed. Like I said, um, saving. We haven't used saving on the iPad forever, and I guess that's just that's just the way that things are going to work now. So, in line, I guess they're going to have just the whole API or um, application programming interface for um, developers to plug in and make it so that they can have their applications saved by themselves and use versions. So you can see versions of that um, the project that you're working on, and then also have it save automatically. So you never have to worry about that. So that's been it so far. Um, if you know anything else that you want to see or anything else you want me to show you in um, in line, just let me know. Um, I have this developer beta installed on my computer. It's actually a partition, so this isn't my main um, my main hard drive sort of thing. It's a thirty gigabyte partition. If you want me to show you how to install that or make something like that, I can do a video about that if you want. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and peace.